today I want to discuss with you first derivative test and what we can learn from first derivative test, what we can learn about a function and its graph. Here we have a general function and uh, before we understand the first derivative test, we have to have previous knowledge of increasing and decreasing function. If we increase x values from a to c1, we could see that all the x, as x increases from this point to this point, function values are increasing all the way to c1. And uh, we notice that all the slope of the tangent lines are positive in this interval. If we reach to C1, we have a horizontal tangent, which is uh, equals zero, and we have here C1 is one of our critical points. As we pass C1, x as x values increasing, function values are increasing. And we look at this slope of the tangent lines are positive all the way through C2 here. At C2, we still have a horizontal tangent, which is the first derivative equals zero. As we pass C2, we see that as the x values increases from C2 to C3, function values are decreasing, and the slope of the tangent lines are negative. As we go from C3 to C4, we see that function values are increasing and the slope of the tangent lines are positive until we reach the C4, which derivative does not exist. We have a vertical tangent there. Then from C4 to C5, the uh, function values are decreasing and the slope of tangent lines are negative. Then we reach, again, flat point here, flat area, which is slope of the tangent line equals zero. Then function values decreasing all the way to B, and slope of the tangent lines are negative. And um, first derivative test says that if slope of the tangent lines are positive before the critical point, and the slope of the tangent lines are the positive after the critical point, we have no relative extreme value at C1. At the next uh, critical value, C2, slope of the tangent lines are positive, and after we pass the C2 just a little bit, we see the slope of the tangent lines are negative. We have a local maximum. As we move through the C3, which is our next uh, critical value, we see that slope of the tangent lines are negative before that point. Just after that, slope of the tangent lines are positive. That's the second part of first derivative test says that we have a relative minimal at C3. Slope of the tangent lines are positive. Uh, before C4 and the slope of the tangent lines are negative after C4, that must be, C4 must be a relative maximum point. Then we go to C4, we see that slope of the tangent lines are negative and we go down to after C5, just a little bit, we see that it's still negative. So from negative to negative, we have no relative extreme values at this point at C5. As you know, there's all the these relative minimum, relative maximum points occur at the critical points. This is the process we go through to apply first derivative test. First, find f prime of x. Second step is find the critical values, critical points. Step three is determine signs of the f prime of x. Uh, those are the uh, intervals we determine with the uh, critical numbers. So we want to know where they are uh, f prime of x positive, where f prime of uh, x is negative. Finally, we apply the first derivative test. 
to apply the first derivative test, you must remember that function has to be continuous in some open interval to apply the first derivative test. To do, uh, to apply the first derivative test, I have an example, simple example, polynomial degree three to apply the first derivative test and I'll walk through the four steps with you. Function I have chosen is f of x equals x cubed plus three x squared minus nine x plus five. That's my example. I'm going to walk through uh, four steps to apply the first derivative test. First of all, we know this function is cubic polynomial. It's continuous everywhere. So f prime of x, the first step, equals 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. Step two, we have to set the f prime of x equals zero to find the critical numbers. f prime of x equals zero, 3x squared plus 6x minus 9 equals zero. To set the f prime equals zero. We divide the whole equation uh, by three. x squared plus 2x minus three equals zero. We can put, this is a factorable quadratic, x, x, uh, plus 3, minus 1. This x minus, no x works. From this factor, we get x equals to 1. When we set this factor to equal 0, we get x equals negative 3. Those are the only critical values I have. The next step is, this is a step two, we have the critical points. The third step, we will set up an interval with these critical points, decide about the signs of the f prime of 